This video will teach you how to add Arduino to Autodesk Eagle. You can use this to create an Arduino shield, or add a socket to your design, whereby you can plug in an Arduino board. Although it is possible to create a footprint for the Arduino from scratch, we can use a library that has already been created. SparkFun has already created a library, which contains several of the most popular Arduino boards. For this tutorial, we will add an Arduino Uno footprint. However, the library also has many other boards, such as the Arduino Mega, Arduino Pro, and Teensy boards. Follow the link on screen to download the library. Inside the zip file there is an LBR file, which is an Eagle library. Next, open Eagle and click Options, followed by Directories. Here you will see all of the directory paths for the different Eagle files. The first path in the list shows the location of custom Eagle libraries. If you are using Windows, the dollar home directory represents your documents folder. If you are using Mac OS, the dollar home directory represents your home folder, which can usually be found in your Finder favorites. You can also type the path directly into Finder, as shown here. Next, move the downloaded LBR file into the folder. We should now be able to locate the custom library from within Eagle. From the main screen, expand the library section and then open the libraries folder. You should see the Spark Fun library in the list. Go ahead and expand it to view the components in the library. We will add an Arduino Uno board. This will provide us with a socket, whereby we can plug an Arduino into our PCB design. There is also a separate footprint available, if you wish to create a shield for the Arduino instead. Select the Arduino Uno from the list by highlighting it. The details will load in the space on the right hand side. There are three different footprints associated with the Arduino Uno component. You can choose whichever you prefer. In order to add the component, we need to have a schematic open. You can use an existing schematic, but for this example we will create a new one. Next, click to add the footprint to your schematic. You can now wire the footprint as desired. When you create a board, the Arduino footprint will appear as a component, so you can place it as necessary. Congratulations! You have successfully added Arduino to Eagle. Visit scitech.com forward slash PCBs for more tutorials like this.